What? Go. Hi, this is Jim McCarty of the Yardbirds, and you're listening to Interviewing the Legends with Ray Shasho. Hello once again, everyone. I'm your host, Ray Shasho. Welcome to another edition of Interviewing the Legends, brought to you by the Rockstar Chronicles Series 1. My new book featuring over 45 intimate conversations with the greatest music legends the world will ever know. And it features our guest today, Jim McCarty, available now at bookbaby.com and amazon.com. Well, the Yardbirds features a lineup of innovative and legendary musicians, notably, of course, the Yardbirds leader, drummer, singer, co-founder, Jim McCarty, guitarist Godfrey Towson, uh, Kenny Aronson, who we've had on the show before, great guy, uh, Mike Scavone, and John Iden. Since the Yardbirds' uh, birth from 1963 to 68, and then its 2003 reformation, the group has been known for its incredible guitarists. In addition, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page, plus rhythm guitarist, bassist Chris Drea, have contributed to the band's history. Jim McCarty continues to lead this innovative British rock band that provides the crucial link between British R&B, psychedelic rock, and heavy metal, while pioneering the use of innovations like fuzz tone, feedback, and distortion. The drummer, singer, songwriter is responsible for its haunting sound. Please welcome drummer, singer, songwriter, author, known for being a member of Renaissance, Box of Frogs, Illusion, and the legendary Yardbirds and member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Jim McCarty to Interviewing the Legends. Hello, Jim. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> You've been in a lot of bands. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can't keep me down, I guess. <laughs> See, it's hard to keep up with you, but I, I think the Yardbirds, it might be it, right? That This could be the, yeah, except for your solo stuff. Yes, it could be the last band and then, uh, you know, I'd just be solo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot yeah. easier that way, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of easier, though, because everyone has to do what you say, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't chatted since uh, you were included in my book, and it's it's been a while. Um, I'm trying to think of when it was. It was it's been a few years now. I think we, it was sitting on the top of time around 2009. Oh, right. Yes. That's a long time ago. Wow. Yeah. It's a great, great album though. I love that album. I give it five stars. Yes. Yeah. I did that, uh, recorded that in Toronto. I probably told you then, didn't I? Yeah, I uh, probably. Yeah. I did, I did the one after that in Toronto as well. Really? Why, to, why yeah, Toronto? Yeah. Why did you pick Toronto? Well, I don't know. We we had a, a, a thing. Well, first of all, I was very friendly with Ron Korb, who was mm -hmm. the flute. And I used to go and stay with, with him in, in Toronto. And I liked, you know, I liked the, the vibe. I right. liked the place. And um, he said, oh, well, he, he knew a lot of musicians that could play on an album. So, you know, we did that sitting on the top of time with musicians he knew. Exactly. Uh then my wife and I used to do house swaps. So we mm -hmm. used to swap a house in France, the south of France, to somewhere in Toronto. And we, we met some really lovely people. We did, you know, we half a dozen, we did half a dozen times every summer. Mm. Because it gets quite hot in the summer here. And uh, yeah. I mean, it gets hot in Toronto, but maybe a little, little bit cooler. And and we just liked the place. And uh, it was good for my music. Cause, uh, Lots of great musicians. Wife, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I almost said wife swapping. <laughs> House swapping, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did wife swapping. But house swapping. Yeah, we met some really nice people, actually. And, we, you know, we stayed in all sorts of places, uh, mm -hmm. nice places in Toronto, because it was, uh, you know, there were more people in Toronto that wanted to come to the south of France. <laughs> That, yeah, you know, wanted to go to Toronto. <laughs> That's funny. We could yeah, easily so, do yeah. that here because there's a lot of Brits here in Sarasota, in the Sarasota Bradenton area. Yeah. 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 
imagine. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. I got to ask you, first of all, before we get started, did you know Charlie Watts? Uh, I, I did, I did, but I, did, I didn't know him very well. I did, I, I, had, I had met him a few times. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, of course, that, that was a, you know, a tragedy, of course. Um, yeah. So I guess he'd, he'd had a good, a good old time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to 80, you know, he's a bit older than I am. Um, but he was always a, 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 a real gent, you know, a real gentleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked him. I, I liked his playing. Yeah, from one drummer to another drummer. It, it's pretty cool because you guys came up about the same time, didn't you? The, the Stones and the Yardbirds. And... Yeah, funny enough, when, when um, you know, when I used to hang out in, 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 in the Richmond area in the mm -hmm. south of London, I went one time to see the Stones. Um, for the first time and and it was before charlie watts huh. they had another i had another drummer wow but, so that was going back a bit but then we used to see them playing in in richmond because they mm -hmm. had a regular they had a regular spot in richmond i did another uh zoom interview last week with a guy you probably know as well uh um oh my gosh what is wrong with me uh rod argent Rod Argent oh, was on the call with me. Yeah. 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 He's, he's, he's great. He's a very nice guy. He, what a nice guy he is. We had, we had a lot of fun yeah. together. Yeah. 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 I like, I, and I like the band and we, we, you know, we often uh, play on the same bill and stuff. We do tours together sometimes. And mm -hmm. yeah, he, Rod, I like Rod, Rod a lot and Colin. Jim, I got to tell you, man, you look great. I don't know what <laughs> your secret is. You, uh, you look <laughs> awesome. What, what, how do you take, take so good care of yourself? I don't know. Maybe it's in the family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm in a very nice uh, atmosphere and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and fresh air. And I, I have a good, uh, have a good diet. Yeah. You know, organic food diet. And yeah. You know, so yeah, I keep taking the pills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it, it's good to see rockers take care of themselves uh, uh, yeah I, I told i told rod uh, he had big arms man and i said is that from the keyboards he, he said every every day about 20 minutes he works out yes it's good yeah so, so, so somebody showed me some yoga so i do yeah i do about the same but i do yoga that's hard yoga stuff mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's not that easy. <laughs> I I hurt myself doing yoga. <laughs> it's not too bad. I got an easy. I had an easy uh, lot of stuff. I got a so message I, from you, by the way, from Annie Haslam. Me and Annie talk a lot. I oh, love really? her. She says, "Please give Jim my love. Tell him I miss him, and uh, that you he had such a great time at the two shows he did with us. And he, she wishes you were closer." That you you guys yeah. would become good such good friends. Oh yeah, yeah, we had it. We had a great time. It was, yeah. it, it was that was the, what the year before last, I think October, mm -hmm. two thousand and nineteen. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that. that's pretty cool. I I love Annie. Annie's so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about the new book, which is in incredible. Um, it, she walks in beauty. My quest for the bigger picture. It's by you and Dave Thompson. It's available at www.lulu.com. Uh, I'm also. I want to. My condolences about your wife. You losing your right. wife. Right. Right. That that's you know it's devastating to anybody that's been married for such a long time. Um, well, yeah. It, your wife's name was uh, Elizabeth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we, we, we were very close and um, mm -hmm. we, we sort of had a very close connection and, and that sort of carried on, you know, after she died. Yeah. Uh, it's quite it's quite interesting. Um, but, well, uh, it's all in the book. <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a whole weird and wonderful story. <laughs> well, well, tell us a little bit about the book. Um, I didn't I wasn't able to, to get a uh, a copy of it, maybe because it's it's too soon. I don't know, but tell us a little bit about it. It's only just out. Yeah, 
only just out. Um, it, it's not such a long book as the other one. Nobody mm -hmm. told me. Um, but Dave, Dave contributed to that as well. We worked with that uh, on that book. Right. And Dave's great. You know, Dave's really good. <laughs> and um, and so w what had happened? I I I saw a medium a couple of times, and um, uh, I sort of got through to to Lizzie and. Uh, it came up the idea. Oh, why don't you do like a blog, a blog, or a blog, you know, mm -hmm. or, or a book? So I had this idea in mind, and then all of a sudden, I spoke to Dave Thompson, and I told him what what had happened. I said, "Well, you know, I'm going to write this book about all this sort of strange stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> rock and roll." And he said, oh, great. I love all that. He said, well, let's do it. So he, he was right. He was right in, you know, he was very keen. And um, so so we got on with it. Now, how, how yeah. did you connect with your wife? In, in what well, way? Well, I, I went to, um, well, I, I went to uh, a couple of mediums. And then I, mm -hmm. uh, to cut a long story short, I discovered somebody called Suzanne Giesman. Okay. It was also a medium. Right. And uh, she was, um, she's actually in uh, North Carolina, I think, but she goes off on the road and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, she at one time she was very high up in the US Navy. She was an officer, oh. <laughs> which is very odd. And she, uh, she lost her, her stepdaughter. Her husband's daughter in right. in Iraq, but uh, she was actually not killed in battle. She was killed by, by lightning. She was hit by lightning. Really, and uh, she was pregnant at the time, and um, you know, obviously lost the baby. But um, I think Sus Suzanne was so upset, she said, "Oh, I, you know, I, uh, she decided to be a medium." So she went to a, a school in England called the Albert Finley College, where they teach mediumship. And <coughs> since, since then, she became a famous medium and she runs a whole, you know, a whole big thing. And she, she did a Zoom course, a bit like this, you know, mm. uh, a workshop, which, which I enlisted for because I thought, oh, this is interesting. I, I, quite, I quite like the idea of this. Sure. So I, I got into that, and she she told you various ways how you can um, communicate. So I, I learned some ways of communicating with Lizzie, and so mm -hmm. uh, I, I started to uh, you know get it every, every morning. I started going into this certain meditation right. you know, and have a book and writing down what she said. So we kept huh. going. It was quite it was quite magical. And the interesting thing I think about Suzanne is that she calls herself an evidential medium, mm -hmm. which means uh, she needs evidence, uh, you know, physical physical evidence, really, that these these are the people she's communicating with. Right. Um, and so she asks them things like, "Well, tell me something about you know somebody else that I don't know." Or tell me something that's going to happen today, or something exactly. I'm going to, see, you know, and things like that, and and things happen. You know, you ask these things, and and, and things happen, and um, it, it was very odd. I, I haven't really told anybody this, but um, I, I was talking a few months ago. I was doing this a few months ago, and it was uh, around the time of um, when Hilton Valentine passed. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. From the animals, yes. Uh -huh. It was around time, uh, and I was communicating with Lizzie, and suddenly mm -hmm. uh, she came up with this with the name Charlie Watts, mm -hmm. and and I thought Charlie Charlie Watts, you know what, what what's he got <laughs> what's he got to do with anything? I mean, um, uh, I, I didn't really believe. But I thought I'm making something up. You know, it's not. She's not telling me anything. I'm making it up. And then all of a sudden, you know, yesterday that happened. And I thought, oh, well, wow, I, I didn't make it up. My she, goodness. Yeah, she, she actually mm. told me. Wow. 
<laughs> now, do you hear do you hear a voice in your head or how how does that work? Yes, I either see something. Sometimes mm -hmm. I see I see an image of something, or I just okay. or I just hear it. Yeah, just hear it in my head. That's yeah. amazing that you have that connection. Yeah, really yeah. yeah. Oh, and when, when she had the cancer, when she was alive, mm -hmm. she was saying, "Well, how how can we how can we communicate? You know, when I pass on, how how are we going to do it?" Mm -hmm. And we answer you know we we i said well i don't know how you know but we certainly do <laughs> that's incredible <laughs> yes. we, we spend so much time on uh, on um you know what a waste of energy and things on this planet and i don't know why we don't spend more time on what happens after we die you know and things like that yeah, yeah. you know yes, yes. I, 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 I never really thought too much about it, though I had I had studied Buddhism at one time. Right. They they talk about the death process. They call it a bardo state, and but I had studied that a bit, but it, it sounded all a bit miserable. You know, it sounded a bit weird, <laughs> and um, so I, I didn't really think much about it, you know. And then um, well, I got into a few more a few more things of, about people that are investigating near death experiences mm -hmm. you know and it's a it's a huge culture you know there, there are many many near death experiences where people you know go out of their body and they die for five sure. minutes and uh, it, and it's all a very similar story it's always mm -hmm. always very similar and and the people seem to go to a very nice place <laughs> yeah oh yeah you know, and they don't want to uh, come back usually <laughs> no, they yeah. don't want to come and there seems to be a thing i, I mean i followed somebody called evan alexander who's a, who's a brain surgeon and he had he had one he had a major one mm. uh he said well i you know my my brain was dead so how, how was i perceiving anything how, how how was i seeing things how was i sort of living somewhere right and it, it proved to me that it's not the brain, it's mm -hmm. the consciousness that carries on. Um, you know, which I'd never really thought I'd never really thought before very mm -hmm. much about. But I uh, agree. Was... My, yeah. My uh my wife is a retired nurse and she's got a lot of stories like that from people that oh, have yes. passed yes. away and came back and have yes. you know, yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's really interesting. And I really got into it in a big way you know, because yeah. I really want, I did really want to, to try and to keep in touch with Lizzie, you know, mm -hmm. that, that was my main thing. So I worked, I worked quite hard. Oh, of course, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I, of course I'm open. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> very, very strange. <laughs> was there anybody there? Or was... <laughs> yeah, the door just opened. Really? Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. There's <laughs> evidence right there. <laughs> Some more evidence. <laughs> I, re so, I remember. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was going to say if I, I, I could spend all, you know hours t telling you all these stories, but they're mm -hmm. they're all in the book. There's lots of lots of stories in the book. I remember our last conversation. I remember everything, and you went to Virginia Beach to see. Uh, is it um, is it Casey Ed, Edgar Casey? Is that how you spell his last name? Yes, yes, yes. You went to Virginia Beach to see the, uh, the Edward Casey place or or whatever, and you turned yes. me on to Edward Casey as well. I started yes. reading things about him and everything. Yes. Yeah. It was funny. Just yesterday, I was talking. To, I hadn't spoken to him for a long time. Um, I spoke to our old tour manager Henry Smith. Mm -hmm. Lives in. Um, he lives near near Tampa. He lives in um, is it St. Petersburg? Mm -hmm. St. Pete, yeah. Yeah, he lives there, and uh, he he went with me when we went. Really? We were talking, we were talking about Ed, Edgar Casey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> coincidence! <laughs> I I, I kind of believe in in uh, reincarnation, and the, the older I get, the more I think it's very possible. 
you I know, yes. it makes yes. sense, you know, and why not? Why not be recycled, you know? Yes, it yeah. does, yeah. And we, 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 were, we were talking about that in that song um, happening 10 years time ago. That was the uh, exactly the idea yeah. of the song where it started. Yeah. Was that you and Keith that wrote that? or? And Keith had that, that idea of the, mm -hmm. the tune, the lyrics and everything. Yeah. Ha have you uh, ever come in contact with Keith, with Keith Ralph? Or? Uh, not, not, in, not in a big way. Right. Uh, well, yeah, one one time we it, it came through mm -hmm. to somebody, yeah, someone I knew, yeah. And he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say much. But... He didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed quite happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, Paul McCartney's been uh, dreaming a lot lately about John Lennon. That's that's. Yeah. You know, I, I, th I think w what somebody said the other day was that at the moment, because of all the deaths from COVID, yeah, you know, that the, the veil is a bit thinner between you know one world and the other, mm -hmm. a little bit thinner. So there's more, there's more going on. There's more communication going on. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 We live in scary times. We really do. It's it's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember George Harrison, uh, he was kind of happy that he was going to the next world, you know, you know, he had, he had that, uh, it was a movie or a special material world or something like that, which was very, very interesting, you know, yeah. very spiritual guy. Yes, he was. Yeah. He, he was very interesting. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. But he's still around. Everyone's still around somewhere. <laughs> 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 well we we all got to buy the book it's very very interesting um it, it takes you off not just talking about rock and roll and you know sex drugs and rock and roll but it's it's about life it's about you know things that we all are kind of afraid to talk about but we need to talk about it you know kind of in a way i i wanted to share it because it was such an incredible a thing for me, you know, it mm -hmm. never happened to me, obviously, <laughs> never mm -hmm. happened to me before, you know, and here I am at 78 or whatever, and suddenly this huge, you know, new sort of experience happened. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> incredible. Never, yeah. Never happened before, you know. So, so I wanted to share it, you know, and I think, I think, I think it's enjoyable. I think it, you know, it's, uh, it's sort of quite moving and it's, I think it's uh, interesting, you know, for everyone. Well, it's available at Lulu, uh, www.lulu.com. Is it going to be available on Amazon as well? Yeah. Yeah, on Amazon. yeah. It's just a little bit early days at the moment. We're exactly. Just getting, I think we're getting the final print sorted out, you know. Um, um, yeah, some people have bought it already. Mm -hmm. We've just, we've just sorted it out. It's just really new, really fresh. Yeah, well, I'm going to request it from John Lappin. He should, uh, I guess he didn't, I don't think he got it yet either. I did ask for a link, but he didn't have one yet. It's too early, but I'll, I'll get yeah. one from him. Yeah. 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 I'm going to promote the heck out of it too, because it's, it's, you know, oh, good. Good. sounds wonderful. <clears throat> I also want to talk about your uh, last solo album, uh, Walking in the Wildland, which I love. Yeah. Yes. Oh, all right. Thank you. You're, you're an excellent solo artist, too, by the way. And um, I'm yeah. sure you have fun with that. I did. I, as I said, I did, I did that in, the, in Toronto as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it was mainly like a, a trio of... Um, uh, bass, bass player, you know, uh, keyboard, and me. We we mm -hmm. did all the track, and uh, and then uh, Terry Brown got involved. You know, right. t t English guy who lives in Toronto, and he did a lot of Rush albums, and he's, he's mm -hmm. a great, great guy and a great, great producer. And so we added we added stuff in, and we we got it sounded really good. And it's Terry excellent. Did, 
Yeah. It took a lot to get my voice sounding good, you know. Yeah. You had a good voice. You had a really good voice. You should probably sing more in the Yardbirds, no? Well, yeah, it, it depends on the song, you know. Mm -hmm. If it's, uh, if it's um, you know, quite a light, a light song, I'm okay. I just haven't got a great strong voice. Mm -hmm. I can, I, yeah, I can sing. Yeah, I like to sing. I enjoy singing. You have a very good voice. <laughs> you know i'm i'm tough on bands that have usually just one original guy but when it yeah. comes to your band you guys got an all-star band and you know i've been listening all over youtube of all your uh, yardbird songs that sh that you guys do and you guys sound fantastic man <laughs> all right you really yes. sound good yes yes well they're all they're all great players you know uh, and I think also the repertoire is great, you know. It's uh, it's very strong songs, and for some reason they still stand up after all this time. They they do. I mean, you you never get tired of Yardbirds music, you know. It's yeah. it's like listening to the Beatles, basically, and the Stones, and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but people ask me, why do you think the music still go still mm -hmm. popular? I've got no idea. I just because it's I good just, music. That's why. <laughs> it is, you know. Nothing today can match it. <laughs> well, it's yes, it's difficult. It's not quite the same as it was, is it? Really? No, 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 not at all. Yeah. It, I, I was a top forty disc jockey back in the late seventies, and um, they we had a good mix of music back in the late seventies. But then after that, it it started shifting. Oh, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Just somebody's uh, calling me, but I'm still there. Oh, is that, is that what's happening? Okay, you're still there. We're having a little technical issues with the picture, but we'll carry on. Yeah. Um, the solo album. Uh, I want to mention some of my favorite tunes. There you are. You're back. <laughs> yeah. uh, you have a promo clip out there, Dancing Leaves. I saw that. That's on, uh, on YouTube. Yes. Um, Stop Living Life in the Past. That was a very interesting song. Can you talk a little bit about that? Love the guitar work on that, too. Oh, yes. Yes, that's... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember who played on it now. <laughs> uh, somebody, Mumford, he's, he's, uh, he's a Canadian guy. So he mm -hmm. played some sort of like slidey stuff. He was good. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that 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 was not something I think about when <laughs> I, I I always treat that as a bit of a filler that track. You know? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was intrigued by the uh, the name, you know, the "Stop Living in the Past," the uh, the title, which yes, I I tend yes. to do all the time. <laughs> I'm always living in the past. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a sort of a thing about yeah, a bit, a bit like people living in the past too much, you know. Mm -hmm. But but I can understand it, you know, when you when you think about the you know today, exactly what's going on now, you know, incredible, isn't it? Nothing wrong with living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> on, on the album cover, that uh, castle in the background. Where where's that? Where is that? Oh. That's somewhere quite near here. Oh, okay. Where, near where I live, it's about twenty twenty miles away. And 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 that's that's it. Actually, that place is in the book. Oh, it is in so, the book. Okay. Yeah, that um that actual place is called Bar Gem. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> and it's a it's a little village where, where hardly anyone lives. About ten people live. Really. But it's a beautiful. <laughs> It and, it and it's very high up uh and and i always go there when it's a hot summer down here mm -hmm. i usually go and stay there you know because it's cool you know it's a nice uh drop in temperature it's very cool up there right but it's a beautiful little village and there, there's there's pictures in the book oh great because some of the some of the action <laughs> Some of the action in the book happens there. <laughs> You'll read it. Are, are you allowed in the castle? 
Well, the, the castle is just a, re a wreck. Okay. You, yeah, you can't, you can't, but I, I believe recently somebody bought it. Mm -hmm. and I think, I think they were going to restore it. But you, you never know with these things. <laughs> yeah. I love castles. I'm really into castles. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's a classic, um, it's a classic little village. Mm hmm. It really is like something out of Wonderland. Wonderland, huh? <laughs> yeah, and they do, you know, you're very high, so it's got a beautiful view there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, changing times. Great violins at the beginning of the intro. Cool track. Kind of very prog. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, let's see. What, I, I got notes here yeah. about all my favorites here. Soft in a hard place was a great play. Uh, another electric lead. Yeah. On that one. Yes. 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 Good track. Very good track. Um, let's see. I got uh, connected. Oh, Almost yes. sounds like the book now. Connected and, <laughs> and right. <Can> I, <laughs> I think you're leading your way into the book here. <laughs> You yeah, know, connected, I, I like, connected sound like a top 40 hit, you know, if top 40 oh, was still top 40, you know, like it used to be. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought about doing a, a video for that and having a sort of a band all dressed up and having horns and everything. Yeah, you, know, you should. I, Definitely. You know, having suits on and greased back hair sort of thing. <laughs> I, I would. It's a great song. It really is. But uh, the, the soft and the hard place, uh, that was Alex Lifeson, you know, from Rush. Oh, Alex that. was on that? Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, he cool. Played the, he played some lovely guitar. No wonder the guitar is so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, and, that's and great. The, the other one was a guy called Ray Mumford, I remember. I Ray remember Mumford, that. okay. Yeah, he played yeah. on the Stop Living Life in the Past. Mm -hmm. Kudos to both yeah. of those guys. Great guitar work. Um, just enough guitar to you know say, man, I love it. You know, not on every track, yeah. but it was where you needed it. You know, yeah, yes, it's a nice, it's a nice bit to it. It is. Yeah. Come around the corner, lots of bass guitar. Kind of sounded to yeah. me a little like a Jimmy Buffett tune for some reason. Oh, did it? <laughs> Funny. I heard a little Jimmy Buffett in there for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, the, the bass player was a great guy, George, George Cola, his name is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great guy. Great album. <clears throat> yeah. I, I love all your solo work. <clears throat> Thank you. So what's, what's going to be happening now, uh, music-wise? What are you going to be doing? Well, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to write a few more songs. You know, I've, mm -hmm. got, I've got the maybe a few songs to... Uh, you know, that might come out of the book, you know, that might be similar. Right. And, uh, of course, we're, we're carrying on with the with the group. Mm -hmm. playing, we're playing, you know, playing different tours with the band. Right. I've got so your keep, tour dates, too, by the way. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're keeping that moving. Yeah. Um, you're going to be playing. I had Peter Aubin on about a week and a half ago from big brother and the oh, holding okay. company oh yes 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 so we're playing that theater there you are yeah. you're gonna be, you guys are beginning yeah. playing together there that's that's yeah. that's a great lineup that should be good yeah yeah they should do more of um maybe in the past you guys have have, have they put you together like with you know all the british invasion guys or have, have they done to have you done tours like that uh, we we haven't done many. We've we've done a couple in England. Okay. We've done stuff with the the animals and uh, the zombies, like I said before. Right. And uh, uh, Dave Berry and people like that. We've we've done a couple in England, but not not in the states. Never never oh. in America. Really. Uh, we played the odd show with uh, <laughs> like an touch or a bad right. finger or someone like that. But right. Never, never with. Uh, oh, we did, we did a short tour with the zombies. Yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot, that was in the states. 
Yeah, because those are huge here. I mean, we have Happy Together. We had Hippie Fest. Um, I mean, there's there's so many. And of course, you got the um, the cruise, the cruises, yeah. right? Yeah. Which yeah. which you're going to be on, uh, and it's sold out already. <laughs> yeah. Power of Power Cruise. Yeah, uh, it's a good one. We've done that twice already. Yeah, that's a that is a good one. Yeah, that's great fun. It's hard yeah, to get. Love- it's hard to get reservations though. It's like sold out. Yeah. You know, a couple years in advance. You know. It's a thing. And when you think they have about two thousand people on there, and that they're, they're all playing, they're all playing a couple of thousand each. Right. So exactly. Think of the turnover. Man, oh man. It was sold out, you know, just amazing, isn't it? I want to go with my wife, but it, it, that one is a popular one, and there's another one. I forgot the name of it, but it's got a lot a huge lineup. I call it I call it the uh the Woodstock on, on the high seas. It's everybody's <laughs> on there. Yeah, yeah. You know. But yeah, the flower power cruise, that's in um March 28th through April 4th. Yeah. Uh, Miami, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Well, that'll be fun. It's gonna be yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, your yeah, tour I, starts. I always, Go ahead. I I always enjoy them because you don't you don't have to uh, you know you don't have to get on a bus and travel. Exactly. You just walk in your cabin and go to bed. <laughs> exactly. Plus, you get to hang out with a lot of people you probably haven't seen in a while. You know. Yeah, not that, and they're all nice people, and that you know you could go in and chat to people in the restaurant. You know, it's right? No probably really nice. Exactly. Well, yeah. I think that your tour starts uh, September sixteenth. I think that's when you start getting on the road yeah. again. Yeah, which is great. Right. I bet you're happy about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. But you, you yeah. know, a lot of guys <clears throat> with this COVID thing still out there, they're more concerned not to go out because they're afraid to get something you know yes 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 yeah i know what you mean yeah it's currently bad in florida isn't it it is bad in florida yeah (laughs) it got bad again you have to be careful yeah you be careful i'm not going anywhere (laughs) i'm gonna wait (laughs) yes make sure you wear your mask (laughs) oh yeah Yes, we're, we're the good one you know the other the, the, there's only one or two that are actually work you know and i just learned this the uh the cloth mask doesn't work very good and oh, okay. you gotta have you, you need the um is it the n1 or whatever it's called it's a you know it's oh, more I expensive know. right whatever. you need one of those I, yeah that's yeah i don't know what you call those i guess you get them on the internet yeah yeah yeah, stock up on that <laughs> for the tour. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the sad thing is that they, they say, oh, if you see a mask, you know, thrown out in the street somewhere, it's going to end up in the sea. I know. Isn't that horrible? It'll end up in the ocean somewhere, you know. Oh, it's sad, isn't it? It's terrible. Why do people do that? Yeah, you yeah know? terrible. Horrible. Yeah. Well, after the 16th, you got, um, I don't see anything till 2022. Is that, is that right? After the 16th of this year, or did you schedule some more shows? Uh, Maybe you just got the Live Nation one. There's there's the uh, Biggie Festival in in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. I'll have to look look that up and include that. 21 and 22. And then there's... uh, there's uh, uh, Seattle, uh, Detroit, and, and Chicago after that. Okay, I'll include them. <clears throat> yeah. Prob- yeah. Maybe it was just updated. And you got Daryl's house, that's in 2022. Yeah. Um, the 28th through April 4th. You're going to be there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah no, right. no Florida dates yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want to change. <laughs> no, actually, we we haven't played that much in Florida. And we, I think, we played years ago. We played in Tampa with the um, the Doors. You know, the Reformed. Yeah, 
And that was like 2005 or something. That's a long time ago. You're due. <laughs> it's a real short, real short tour. I think it's only hard, it was about six. That they they kept losing more and more dates. You know, we it, it, it got into trouble that tour. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. How long did it take you to write the book? Um, actually, actually, not that long. Really? Yeah, not not mm. that long. Uh, I, I guess we probably the book's out now. <clears throat> I think we probably started in March or April, so just a few mm. months. Yeah, just just uh, four four or five months. That's incredible. Yeah, it was really helpful that, that Dave Thompson was was really into it. You know? Right, and he, he was very very keen. So do you, he, do you like do you like writing? Is this going to be is there going to be more books coming out? Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the next nice one? Writing. I'm waiting. <laughs> it's very nice writing as a team. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, and he he's a good guy to to bounce ideas off and. You know, it's, right. it's hard to find. That's hard to find. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a very, very good team. And he's, he's in the States. Mm -hmm. He's in, but he lives in uh, Delaware. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. yeah. But it took me, uh, the Rockstar Chronicles took me a good eight years. And Check the G's, which is about my family business, uh, that took me about two and a half, three years. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid to write anything else. It takes up my whole life. <laughs> you did it all on your own. Yeah. You yeah, all on my own. That's the problem. I don't. I didn't have anybody to help me out. You know. And the Rockstar Chronicles. That, that's all about different, different uh, musicians. Yeah. You. Um, I mean, you name it. They're in here. Ian Anderson. Um, oh, okay. You know, uh, Colin uh, Blundstone. Yeah. I got. I got a. A British invasion section. I've got uh, guy, you know, uh, people that sold out arenas. Um, all kinds of. It, it's for, about forty-five interviews that I've done. Yeah, and I, I, I might have been. I might have uh, autographed one or two. I, I should. I should. Uh, I should send you a copy, right? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll give you my. Uh, okay. I'll give, give, my, give John. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll send you a copy. <laughs> Definitely. I just sent one to Bruce Sedano. Bruce is, uh, uh, was um, Donna Summer's husband. You know, he's also a musician. He, he sent me, okay. he sent me a, his bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the trade off, you know? Okay. Well, I could probably, uh, I could send you a, I'll send you a book direct. Okay. We'll swap books. <laughs> yeah, we'll swap books. We'll swap books. Why not? I do that all the time. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just tell John uh, your address. I will. I'll, yeah. Okay. Sounds great. I just want to mention some tidbits about the Yardbirds. People might not know. Um, your first manager, everybody said he looked like uh, Fidel Castro. He was a Russian manager. Um, I saw him in an interview or something way back when. He was an interesting guy. Um, Gomelsky, right? Was that his last name? Gomelsky? Yes, yes. Yeah. He ended up in, in New York. Mm -hmm. He lived in a loft in, in New York in the end. But he, yeah, he had a, <clears throat> a very mixed sort of mixed family. You know, he was, right. he was, I don't know where he was born, but he was like a mixture of Swiss, Russian and Italian. Wow. <laughs> he, you know, <laughs> very, very bohemian. <laughs> <laughs> You guys backed up Sonny Boy Williamson in the early days. How cool was yeah. that? I mean, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was that, yeah. Yeah. It was like two different worlds, you know, the, the old blues, the blues man world. And there was us, you know, the little, the kids from the suburbs. <laughs> yeah. You guys were okay. way ahead of your time, by the way. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah. The uh, combination with Sonny Boy was quite funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that, that was that was that was a good idea though. Yeah, you also recorded. I didn't know this. I didn't know you guys recorded with Sam Phillips at Sun Studios. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's very yeah. cool. Yeah, well, Giorgio was very good on ideas. He was one of those guys that had lots of uh, lots of creative ideas, and mm -hmm. he, he, he took us to some studios. He said, "Oh, we could, you know, we, we we've got to go to Memphis, and we've got to go in and get Sam Phillips to engineer for us." And you know, he was he was like ahead of the game all the time. So he had great ideas. Now, why why did he uh, not become your manager anymore? Why did, why was the uh, departure? The problem was, we, you know, we weren't seeing any money. That was uh, <laughs> that, that your, makes sense. <laughs> we, we, you know, we didn't know where the money went. Where's the money going? So exactly. he, he, wasn't, he wasn't very good on the money side, but he was, he had lots of good ideas. And basically, I mean, he he put us on the map. You know. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he made the Arbutus into a household word, as he said. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Interesting fact too: um, Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page only had three tracks together, right? With both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's right. Only three yeah. tracks together. Yeah, it was probably too too much to take, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> We did a couple of tours with them, right? You know, we play, actually we played with the Rolling Stones. We did a tour with the Stones. Really? Uh, what, was, what year was that? Early '66. '66. Uh, it, it was the uh, Rolling Stones and Argentina Turner. Oh wow! What a lineup! You know what a lineup is that? Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> do, 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 you, do you still talk to any any of the, uh, like Jeff Beck or Jimmy Page or Clapton yeah. or anybody? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's more, more at the moment, but uh, it's more with uh, Jimmy Page, funnily enough, than anyone else. Huh. I don't know why that is. Probably because we did that, uh, you know, Yarbo 68, you know, the old uh, live album with him. Right. How's he so doing? Thought, How's Jimmy doing? It's okay, yeah, but yeah, say so much. It's more. Uh, <clears throat> um, I think somebody asked him if he, you know, why doesn't he play? And he said, "Oh, he's too busy. He's too too busy with the admin." Yeah. <laughs> 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 I suppose organizing all the old live Zeppelin things, you know, mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, so, we we uh, miss him out there, you know. Yeah, yeah, it'd be played. Yeah. We, we do miss them out there. You know, it's very interesting. When you guys broke up, <clears throat> right around that same time, Album Rock started. And yeah, you guys so, were a perfect Album Rock band. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where we missed out. You know? I know. And then you had Peter Grant, you had Jimmy Page, and they go on to success. When it was your band, it was, you know, you guys were the originals Led up one in a way, you uh, that, know. That's a sad story, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is Zeppelin got famous playing like Willie Dixon covers. And you guys yeah. were doing that in the early 60s. You guys were doing, you know, all the all the blues I, guys, I, you know, Helen Wolf, Muddy Waters. Yeah, they, they were, they were more, a bit more energetic than we were, weren't they? They were much more of a heavy band than, than we are, we were I think they were a bit about you know but they were all great great musicians you know oh, they yeah. really they really played well yeah well yeah. You, you got you went on to Renaissance with Keith and that was you know look, look how long Renaissance has lasted you know yeah that's yeah that's true yeah it's amazing that was totally different wasn't it <laughs> incredible and then, um, you know, Armageddon was a good band. Yes. That was yes. a very good band. And yes. Box of Frogs was a good band. I was hoping you guys would stick around a little longer, you know? Yeah. Oh, it was a shame we didn't play any tours, because that would have been good. Right. What happened so, there? Everybody just went their separate ways? or? I think what happened was a couple of the guys didn't want to tour. They, they, were, too, they were busy doing other things. Right. Know? And uh, and then the other two, oh, probably me and John, you know, wanted to tour. John Fiddler, the singer, and mm -hmm. the other two 
I, I was, that was a problem. So we, we, we would have done a lot better, I think, and have sold a lot more albums. <clears throat> Definitely. Or, yeah. Yeah. I love the band. I, th- I think yeah, Boxer yeah, Fog, was, yeah, they were great. Yeah. <clears throat> How about the other guys? Um, Chris and uh, Anthony and uh, Samuel Smith. What, what's have you talked to any of those guys? Yeah, I sp- I speak to Paul quite a bit because he you? lives in he speaks he, he lives in France. Right. Uh, he, he's okay. Um, Chris wasn't very well because he got he had some strokes, you know. Right. And uh, so I d- I don't know. I don't really hear from him very much because mm. I think he you know. He's gone a bit, he's lost his marbles a bit, you know. Yeah. That's too um, bad, huh? Yeah, and the same with, with Topham. I think he was in a he was in a similar similar really? back then. Yeah. Mm. Shame. Shame. I wanted to ask you, um Roger the Engineer, the album cover, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> it was Chris's idea, you know, to do the- <laughs> <laughs> Very good, wasn't it? Because he did those wacky sort of pictures, right? And and he sort of, I, I suppose he based it basically on his imagination. It was quite funny. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there was a story. We we were we were in an airport one day, and we saw this um, soldier. And uh, Chris said, "Oh, can we can we get a picture with you? You know, mm-hmm. can we get?" with the soldier and he was I think he, his name was Private Forbus you know and the, 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 it was loosely based on him you know this picture really <laughs> there's, Forb- there's Forbus in the uh, in the title in the on the front on the cover <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> that's a great album too you know it's, it's just uh, yeah. a strange cover <laughs> Well, they did it. They did a great, uh, a great job recently, and you know, it came out as a box set. Right. And they, it was a really well done. It was really nicely done, and they, they had uh, lots of people saying nice things about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was good. A lot of people lost their original material in fires nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were lucky, right? You, and plus, you got everything on a box set, which is important. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, that was. And that was one of our few uh, yeah. albums that we had like the the rights to. Right, we lost the rights to a lot of other stuff, but that, we had the rights to that one. So good. Yeah, we were happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jane Ralph, you still talk to Jane, or how's she doing? I, I haven't spoken to her for a long time. Actually, really, she has the occasional you know, message on, on Facebook or something. But uh, yeah, I don't, I, I, she, uh, she lives down on the south coast, I think, of England now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but she, she I don't think she sings anymore. No more, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. She had a nice voice. You, you know who really became a, uh, a recluse that had a beautiful voice is Mary Hopkin. Remember Mary Hopkin? Yes. Those were the days. Yeah, she became a recluse. Yeah, right. you know, she, you don't hear from her anymore. I think if you try to contact her, it's her daughter that'll answer you. And uh, was she married to somebody? Famous? I think so. I think she was. Um, I can't remember now, but she was. Yeah, they're up, did they? Did they split up? I don't. I don't. I have to look it up. I, offhand, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to look that up as well because I remember. <laughs> She was she was with somebody uh, from a band. Mm-hmm. She was yeah. good. She was good. Another one was Bobby Gentry. She she disappeared too, but she became um, somewhat of an investor and made a lot of money. Whatever she did, I know that. So she's done all yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. She's just not in the music business anymore, I guess. Oh, not good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I guess you know some some people that were you know when they get get older they you know they start worrying about how they look or whatever uh, you know they lose right. confidence. You you know who I love that I've had on this show. She's getting close to ninety and she's still touring, 
and she just did a play. She did Mary Poppins. Uh, she lives in Switzerland. Um, Petula Clark. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She's still around. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's still doing well, isn't she? She's awesome. Yeah. She's awesome. She, she still plays like theaters occasionally, yep, doesn't she? Yep, she does. Yeah. Well, those songs, you know, well, those songs that go on forever, won't they? Amazing. Downtown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lots, of, lots of hits, lots of hits. Yeah, amazing. Another guy that's still going is John Mayall. Yes, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 He's, he's still yeah, out there. Yeah. He's mid 80s now, isn't he? Yes, yeah, he is. <laughs> At least. <laughs> but he looks good. He's in great shape. Yeah, yeah. Something else. He did the, um, <clears throat> his 80th birthday was celebrated here in Sarasota. And I covered the show. And uh, he was out there signing autographs and moving his own equipment around. I'm, you know, he's, he's an amazing okay. guy, yeah. you know? Yeah, we, we, we did a tour with him in France. Mm -hmm. So he used to sit with it, well, it, his own merchandise in the front. You know? Really? When people went in, they, there he was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing too. He's such a legend, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he did you know. really well on his merch. Yep. I think he made more money selling that than they did for the <laughs> guys like him and and the Yardbirds are the ones that are uh, brought back the American blues. You know, yeah. thanks to the Brits, yeah. we we got to re. You guys reinvented the blues again. You know. Yes. Yes. I thought. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jim, I, I asked you this question before. I forgot what your answer was, but I'm going to ask it again. Um, if you had a field of dreams wish, like the movie, to perform or collaborate with anyone from the past or present, who would that be? Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you put me on the spot. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. There's loads of people, you know. Loads Just pick one. Or pick a couple, whatever. <laughs> Well, you know, to to play with Jerry Lee would be fun, you know. Yeah. Or or to you know do something with Burt Bacharach or something Burt like Bacharach. that. Burt Bacharach, yeah. yeah. Or, or Jimi Hendrix, you know. Oh yeah. There's, there's loads yeah. of loads of people. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 you know, I'd still enjoy playing with Jeff, of course. But mm -hmm. Playing, uh, you know, Jeff Beck, you know, playing some of the old Yardbirds things. Because he, yeah, he's really something else. Okay, you, you got to get Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page, at least those two together for a little reunion concert. How's that? And it's got to be in yeah. Florida. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way. I think they'd be up for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure. <laughs> is there a, what is that, that was so famous for a racetrack? Is that, is that right? Sarasota is a racetrack. We did have a racetrack here, but they clo they're closing it down. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. They're, I think they're going to build apartments there or something. Yeah. But yeah. We, we, we were famous for the Ringling. You know, the Ringling Brothers? That's, that's Sarasota. The Ringling Brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Circus. Yeah. Because yep. yeah, I think it got mentioned, didn't it, in that Carly Simon song? It did it? Which one? Which you're, song? You're so vain. Was it? Was it in the? I don't know. Well, I got. I got to look up the lyrics now. I'm thinking of somewhere else. Yeah. Some, I think it might have been the racetrack or something down. In, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah she does mention a racetrack. That's right. I don't know where the racetrack is. I got to look that up. <laughs> yeah, we'll Anything else you'd like to promote or chat about? Do we cover everything? Well, I think you've you've done it really well. You know, it Thank was you. very nice to because I haven't um, really spoken much about the book right. to anyone. You need to. So you're the you're, so you're the first, really. It's a it's 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 a great. I got to have the copy because you know I'm, I'd love to read. It's all about the things I believe in. You know, um, I didn't mention yeah. this, but my wife actually saw her mom who passed away in a vision and yes. so did my dad saw his wife in a vision oh right okay yeah but 
they they really did see them you know and the, and then yeah. i don't have that luck for some reason <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting because some people like you, you know, are very, very interested in it, and and but you're not quite sure about some of the people, you know, they right because there's a lot of taboos about it, you know, and and apparently it was sort of uh, mediumship was was banned by the church or whatever, but maybe still is. I, I'm not sure. Mm. But, so you you never really know, you know, <laughs> when you're talking to somebody. You know, all these years, we're still not sure about anything. <laughs> it's concrete, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know. But I think I think the thing is, uh, if you read if you read a book like mine, I mean, there's lots of lots of other books, you know, obviously similar. But it, it, it and you lose somebody, it, it gives you a bit of um, a bit of heart. It gives gives you gives you a bit of um, support. <clears throat> uh, and it's, it's nice to think you can still communicate with the sure. close, a close loved one, you know. Well, it's, it gives you um, a sense of ease, you know, that to know yeah. she's, she's okay. Yeah, well, that, that, yeah. That's, the main thing. that's the main thing. They know that's that the they're, they're happy. And, of course, the last time you see them, you know, they're in a terrible, you know, she was in a horrible state. You know, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, really with bad cancer, and and then to know that they're okay and that they're, they're, you know, they they look good and they haven't got the cancer anymore and pain free. Yep. So that that's a real nice feeling. You know? It is a good feeling. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're all going to be there one day, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Might as well, well start always... thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you so much, Jim, for being on the show today. Um, I also want to thank uh, okay. John Lappin okay. uh, of Lappin App Enterprises for arranging this interview with Jim McCarty. Um, your book is available okay. now at lulu.com. It's uh, She Walks in Beauty, My Quest for the Bigger Picture by Jim McCarty and Dave Thompson. And everybody needs to buy this book. It, it's a great story. Uh, and it's, it's, everybody needs to, to experience it. And I hope to get my copy soon. Also purchase Jim McCarty's, uh, walking in the wild land. That's your most recent solo album. And yes. that's available at amazon.com. And yes. I want to mention for more information about Jim McCarty and the Yardbirds, you can go to www.jamesmccarty.com dot com that's your official site uh you're on twitter uh the yardbirds official site is www.theyardbirds.com yeah. and watch out for the yardbirds soon in your nearest city and hopefully in florida <laughs> <laughs> thank you jim i appreciate it man well, well uh and I'll, I'll get what what happens? I, I I get it sent to you by Lulu. Lulu print them up. Okay, good. So they'll print one up in in America and they'll they'll deliver it to you. Print print on demand. I think that's what they do. Yeah, yeah which is yeah, they don't yeah. have to keep a, a large inventory of books on hand, which is very smart, yeah. actually. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, I I've got lots of extra copies here, and I'll uh, I'll I'll get mine to you as well somehow. Okay. 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 Uh, should I send it directly to you or to John or? Yeah, send it to me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my address. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll talk to John after we uh, hang up here. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Take care, All man. Right, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Good one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>